oh, well, they're just a bunch of cult members. Whatever happened to live and let live? And whatever happened to the federal law barring troops from assaulting civilians? Whatever happened to the 1878 law, Posse Comitatus? Unfortunately, it was flushed down the toilet a long time ago. Well, here we are in Northern California in Oakland. And uh, the Marines have come in for Operation Urban Warrior, what should be deemed Operation Desensitization of the Population. And they have their role players, they have their fake camps set up, you name it. We're going to take you in and show you what's happening. Attention, attention, attention. American forces are here to help. Remain calm. We will not tolerate civil disobedience. Attention, attention, attention. American forces are here to help. Please remain calm. We will not tolerate civil disobedience. I've made two documentary films about the police state and been to dozens of these military training operations where they hire hundreds of role players to beg and scream, we're Americans, please don't put us in camps, don't take our guns. In the past, in a situation like that, she might have been shot. In the future, we want to give our Marines non-lethal options where they can say, no, she's not armed, maybe threatening, but I don't want to kill her, or I don't want to kill him or them. Use your, uh, your sound wave rifle, I guess you could call it, and uh, down they go. Yeah, him huh? Now you're going to see an execution. <laughs> Okay, the, these guys have plastic handcuffs available. Well, I think terrorism is being practiced on the residents of the city of Oakland because many of the uh, retired, in fact, retired teachers, retired military people have uh, informed me that uh, they, they understand what's going on and it's not anything that relates to humanitarian training whatsoever. This is a psychological, as we in the research community say, this is a psyops. They're preparing people for what is coming, not what is being presented today. So you're saying they're preparing people to accept it with incrementalism? That is correct, like the old frog example. You know, you put the frog in the water and you just gradually continue to raise the heat on the water until the frog is cooked. And that's the way it works. Of course, that was California in 99. By 2000, they were actually arresting people in Swansboro, North Carolina. And they called it training. Patrolling, taking over the city council, taking over the public buildings, running checkpoints, searching people's cars, taking them to jail, confiscating firearms, and it was in the newspaper. Oh, wow, the Marines are out on the road just helping us because the government said it wasn't a question of if, but when the next terrorist attack was coming in. We were going to have to give up our liberties for security. Remember what the FBI agent said? Are you going to have to give up your rights? Maybe, maybe. Preparing the cadres, searching people's cars, taking people to jail. Is this Russia? Is this Mexico? No, it's the new America. Roger. 
Well, I'm glad the Marines are learning how to do their police work, and, well, here's two of the troublemakers now that they've apprehended. Hmm. We showed you California in 99, and, of course, what was happening in North Carolina in 2000 in Swansboro. This is Hebron, Maryland, back in 1998, where they had the children running around in these little white T-shirts, and they were publicly training them to go around and find out where the gun owners were. We interviewed the commander of the Marines, and he admitted they were doing house-to-house -house searches with volunteers for weapon sweeps. When we talked to the Marines on the ground, they admitted that this was for a domestic takeover, to fight domestic insurgents patrolling America, taking over the city council, taking over the town hall, working with the local police, total acclamation, total integration, total downtown Moscow, USA. And, of course, they had an obsession with the youth. Large gangs of young children roving around day and night with the police and the Marines looking for the insurgents. And, of course, there were hundreds of them marching around in plain clothes. America needs a secret police, don't we? Understand, this goes against the very grain of what it is to live in the United States. And I'm not against our police or our military. Think tanks, psychological warfare, psyops experts have created a program of incrementalism in the last decade that has brought us to this point in America. And now since September 11th, they have their pretext, their excuse to roll the troops out in mass. They've announced it in the Washington Post. Uh, United States Army, 365 plus thousand of them to patrol our highways. Imagine Marines in your backyard, in your front yard, walking down your streets in the middle of the night. Well, you're a patriot, aren't you? Well, I certainly am, but this is a deadly, dangerous precedent that's being set. They're brainwashing our military. Now, if they had nothing to hide, I'm a little confused by their actions. The police began to get more and more aggressive as the night wore on, simply because this average Joe Q citizen was trying to catch some videotape of the bizarre activities. Oh, nothing. I just said I didn't have it on then anyway. I, I was talking to you. I didn't have it on. <coughs> How you doing? What's that? It's a good evening. How you doing, that, sir? Very good. Yourself? Okay. How you doing? Not bad. Were you the same guy that was here earlier? Here's an article from February 2002 as we make this documentary. Marines are occupying multiple cities in the continental United States. And yes, they're engaging in strategic deception against the population. Jenny Hulbert, the Marine Corps Warfighting Laboratory spokesperson, told the public that, oh, this is the first time we've done something like that.